What's cracking like y'all? I'm Ben Newhouse, owner, proprietor of Snake Oil Provisions in Long Beach, California. I'm here with Mr. Steven Klaus today. Hey y'all. We are on location in the Olympic Peninsula in Washington State, which is one of Steven's favorite spots to photograph. Steven takes pictures. <laughs> yeah. He's real good at photos. That's the thing I do. Okay. Yeah. You may have known him on the Instagrams as This Normal Life. He takes the gloomy, wavy, crashy, incredible photos of the waters. And he's got some ones of goats I'm a big, big fan of. Oh, yeah. Goats are good. Yeah, goats are tight. Yeah. So, for the people that don't know, who are you? What do you do? Uh, my name is Steven Klaus. I'm a vagabond fine art photographer. I live in my Subaru Outback taking landscape photos. In the United States. So a little backstory. I know the origin, but there's a lot of folks that don't know the origin. So you you came from a day job, a career. Yes, uh, I spent seven years in the healthcare industry. Um, I worked under a group of neurologists doing uh, neuro neuro testing. And whenever I turned 30 years old, I was completely miserable with my life, and I put everything I owned in storage. And I left to travel the United States. So when you, from when you made that decision to when, where you were like, can't do the day job, can't work for anyone else, I'm over it. When you, when you decided that, mm -hmm. how long was it till you did it? Uh, I, I guess I saved, saved money for about four months. I uh, gave a couple months notice with my job and started making arrangements to put everything I owned in storage and. It's about four or five months total before I just fucking took off. Okay. Yeah. July 2012. Respect. Yeah. Real, recognize real. You feel me? Yeah, bro. Um, so you hit the road. Mm -hmm. Oddly enough, not intending to take photos. No, absolutely not. I had no intentions of taking photographs. I had never taken a photo before in my life. Uh, I was traveling with a small mirrorless point and shoot camera and I just kept doing it you know I was going to all the national parks Garches National Park and Big Sur and I was going to the Olympic Peninsula and and uh, I was taking photographs with this this small point-and-shoot camera and I you know just kind of grabbed me and that was that was kind of happened like was there did you have an epiphany was there were you at a particular locale was it someone you were around like what if there if there if there was if that was a thing that happened I I can't I can't put my finger on it. I, natural. Yeah. Like maybe it was something that you should have always been doing. Fuck maybe. Uh, I mean I don't. It, it. That's how I see it based yeah, on sure. your no, work. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't. I don't disagree with you that were at all. Bloomer, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just never knew. Um, and it just it it grabbed me, and you know people started requesting requesting to buy prints, and that's when I was like, oh shit, maybe I, yeah, maybe I can do this. So you had a point and shoot. And you're like, I love this. I'm pretty good at it. Yeah. I'm gonna get a grown man camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My first camera was a Canon 7D, and uh, then I got a growner man camera. What, what do you work with now? I shoot with two 5D Mark II bodies, and more lenses. What, is, what does that mean when you say body? Uh, body is just just the camera body itself, like yeah. not the not the lenses, like just. And you have two of them. I have two. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. I'm sweating. It's hot. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot up in Washington. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's unseasonably warm. Is that uh, El Nino? It, yeah, El Nino. El Nino. Yeah. Here's here's Dorothy right here. She's okay. She's doing good. Hey, girl. Uh, so you're. I think it's safe to say that your muse is the Pacific Northwest. The PNW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I fuck with the PNW. Like, what is it about the PNW that that calls you, connects to well, you? you know, um, the weather is, is certainly uh, the weather is certainly a thing. It's also a really versatile landscape. You know, eastern side of Washington and Oregon are both are both desert, as where the the western sides are. You know, it's a Cascade Mountain Range. It's the Olympic Mountain Range. It's a rainforest. There's a coast. I mean, there's you know within a day's drive, I could be in four different four different landscapes, and I love that. And you're you're also into that. It all looks like black metal album covers. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I grew up a metal kid, and so uh, the, just the just the, the 
the, the moody, the moody thing, the moody, it, whether that exists there is, I've kind of always been drawn to that. And I'm a bald ginger, you know, I don't do well in the, uh, in this, yeah, this yeah. year. Uh -uh. It's 95 in Washington today. Yeah, 95. And I'm, so you're in Portland. I am in Portland, Oregon. I guess semi-permanently. Semi-permanently. Which is radical. As permanent as I can, as I can get without getting nervous about things. Yeah. Which isn't that permanent. Right. What are you currently working on? So right now I'm working on building a bigger lifestyle photography portfolio, uh, shooting, uh, shooting men's wares and boots and things like that. I've been working on a project with a company called Helm Boots out of Austin, Texas. And I've been doing a series with them called On the Road with Helm for the last couple of months where I'm shooting their boots yeah, those are real dope. in a landscape setting. Thanks, dude. Real dope. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and that's what I'm working on right now. Radical. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you mentioned you want to um, build your lifestyle portfolio. Mm -hmm. Like every time you're in town, you do stuff for SOP. Absolutely. It's incredible. And I usually always end up with, with at least two or three images for my yeah. portfolio. Which is real super tight. It is. It's really rad. Um, so that's what you, what are like some projects, like some dream gigs? Uh, you know, one of, the, one of the big things that I really want to do is go up and photograph, uh, photograph the Great Bear, Great Bear Rainforest up in British Columbia, Canada. I want to do that. Um, I want to do more of Alberta, Canada. I want to do more of British Columbia. I also want to go to Alaska. I haven't been to Alaska yet. I know a guy in Alaska. Yeah, I know, I know a dude up in Alaska. He's, he's, yeah. He's all right. Yeah, he's all right. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, no, I really want to go to Alaska. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do that this winter, actually. Okay. Um, Ooh, that'll be tight. Yeah. 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 Cold and gloom and gray and snowy. Absolutely. Love it. Yeah. Um, well, it's been, it's been great having you. I love that you're back in town. Thanks, doggy. You're the first interview. Really? Yeah. Oh wow, that's fun. You're the first guest on the program. I didn't know that. That's big. It's monumental. Oh shit, that's a lot of pressure. I hope the kids are into I'm glad, it. I'm glad I didn't know that I beforehand. Hope, I, hope, <laughs> I hope the folks have learned about you as a person yeah. and your process. Uh -huh. yeah. So I, I have a final question for you. Sure. Pacific Northwest. What's up with that? Fog and shit. We out! <laughs>